sanction has become a tool of war for Americans. They have consistently sanctioned China in all sectors when they feel threatened. Now China has turned the table. China is the new Goliath. China now has the power to sanction any country and any country. China can now heap sanctions on the United States of America. And the country will have to meet the terms of the sanction and China has now also set a perfect mechanism to ensure the enforcement of their sanction on any company. Recently, China decided to impose heavy sanction on some known U.S. entities involved in collection of data about business activities in Xinjiang. This was done to ensure companies follow China regulations and laws. As we can always say here, sanctions are not good, but pushing China with several sanctions will surely get a retaliation from China. Stay with us till the end. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Beijing has recently escalated its response to U.S. sanctions by imposing its own set of restrictions on American firms, particularly those involved in collecting open source data about business activities in Xinjiang. This move is significant as it demonstrates China's growing assertiveness in its economic and political engagements, especially in relation to the U.S. The situation underscores the increasing complexities global companies face as they navigate the two largest economies in the world, each with its own regulatory and political demands. At the heart of these tensions are concerns surrounding human rights issues in Xinjiang. The U.S. has taken a firm stance against what it sees as serious human rights violations in the region, particularly against ethnic minorities like the Uyghurs. In response, it has imposed sanctions on several Chinese government officials. These measures are part of a broader strategy to hold entities accountable for their involvement in or complicity with alleged human rights abuses. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The U.S. has also passed the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act, UFOPA, which requires companies importing products into the U.S. to ensure their supply chains are free from forced labor, particularly from Xinjiang. This legislation has significant implications for global commerce given the prevalence of Xinjiang-sourced materials in various industries, from textiles to technology, from Sally. Companies now need to conduct thorough due diligence on their supply chains to comply with U.S. regulations, a service increasingly provided by U.S. data firms. China's recent sanctions target these data firms directly, marking a strategic shift in Beijing's approach by penalizing U.S.-based firms like Heron and individuals associated with them. China is signaling its intention to counter U.S., Sanctions more aggressively, Karen, for instance, has been instrumental in helping companies navigate UFO pay compliance by providing detailed data on Xinjiang-linked supply chains. Despite the sanctions, representatives from Karen and C4Arts, another firm involved in this type of research, have indicated that their operations will largely remain unaffected. They emphasize their reliance on open-source information and their commitment to unbiased reporting on human rights issues. These statements reflect a broader narrative within the U.S. business and policy circles, underscoring the importance of maintaining ethical standards in international trade. The Chinese government, on its part, maintains that the U.S.C. sanctions are unfounded and has called for their revocation. The use of the anti-foreign sanctions law by China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs in this latest round of sanctions is a clear indication of Beijing's resolve to protect its interests and counter what it perceives as extraterritorial overreach by the U.S. This situation also highlights a larger geopolitical dynamic where China is actively seeking to reduce the influence of the U.S. in global financial systems. This effort has gained additional momentum following the geopolitical shifts post-Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Beijing is promoting the use of its currency in international transactions, a move that could have far-reaching implications for global trade and finance. The escalating sanctions battle between the U.S. and China poses significant challenges for multinational corporations. They are increasingly finding themselves at the crossroads of complex geopolitical tensions, necessitating a careful balancing act to comply with divergent legal and ethical standards. The situation is a vivid reminder of the intertwined nature of global economics and politics and the need for nuanced understanding and strategic agility in navigating these waters. If you are enjoying this video so far, Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Navigating the intricate landscape of international relations, particularly between the U.S. and China, requires a nuanced understanding of the underlying factors at play. 
The recent sanctions imposed by Beijing on U.S.-based firms and individuals is more than a mere retaliatory measure. It's a strategic maneuver within a broader context of global power dynamics. This situation is not isolated, but is part of an ongoing series of actions and reactions between the two countries, reflecting deeper issues in their bilateral relationship. The U.S. has been increasingly vocal about human rights issues in Xinjiang, pointing to reports of forced labor and other abuses against the Uyghur population. This stance is rooted in a larger policy framework that seeks to promote human rights and ethical practices in global commerce. The U.S. government, through measures like the UFO pay, is exerting pressure on companies to scrutinize their supply chains more rigorously. This pressure is not just about compliance with U.S. laws. It's also about aligning global trade practices with certain human rights standards. The response from China, however, underscores a different set of priorities by sanctioning U.S. firms. China is asserting its sovereignty and its right to respond to what it perceives as external interference in its internal affairs. This movie also serves as a warning to other countries and companies that might consider similar actions against China. It's a demonstration of China's growing economic and political clout on the global stage and its willingness to use that power to protect its interests. The targeting of data analytics firms is particularly significant. These firms play a crucial role in the modern economy, offering insights and information that enable companies to make informed decisions about their operations, including compliance with international regulations by imposing sanctions on these firms. China is not just retaliating against the U.S., it's also sending a message to the global business community about the limits of acceptable research and reporting on sensitive issues like Xinjiang. The reactions from Karen and C4 Arts, the firms targeted by the Chinese sanctions, indicate a resolve to continue their work despite these challenges, their emphasis on using open source information and maintaining an unbiased stance in their reporting speaks to the growing importance of data integrity and ethical research practices in the international business environment. These firms and others like them who are at the forefront of a trend where data analysis and ethical compliance are becoming increasingly intertwined. This situation also reflects broader shifts in the global economic order. China's efforts to promote the use of its currency in international transactions, particularly in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, signify a challenge to the long-standing dominance of the U.S. dollar in global finance. This move is part of a larger strategy by China to increase its influence in the international financial system, which could have significant implications for global trade and economic stability. The tensions between the U.S. and China also highlight the challenges faced by multinational corporations operating in a complex and often unpredictable global environment. These companies must navigate a maze of regulations and ethical considerations, balancing their business interests with compliance and social responsibility. The escalating sanctions war between the U.S. and China is a stark reminder of the geopolitical risks that businesses face in today's interconnected world. The recent sanctions by Beijing against U.S. firms are a critical moment in U.S.-China relations, reflecting deeper issues in their bilateral ties and broader global trends. This situation illustrates the complexities of international trade and diplomacy in an era where economic and political interests are closely intertwined as the U.S. and China continue to navigate their complex relationship. The global business community must remain vigilant and adaptable, ready to respond to the shifting dynamics of international relations. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.